What's up, ladies and gents, and welcome back to some Mass Effect 3, where we are continuing this series. x Cal's top picks, and as you can see, I have decided to go with good old-fashioned default Progen Sentinel. Just cannot be beat. Haha, <laughs> beat you to the punch, you little rascal boy. She's gonna be able to get around. <laughs> oh no, not the Dark Channel. Oh, whatever will I do? I'll just kill everything before she has a chance. Maybe that's what I should do, huh? So, I think some of you may be wondering right off the bat is, uh, wh why would you pick the default Krogan Sentinel when you have something like the new Krogan Sentinel, which has a big fucking hammer and blows everything up? Well, it's, it's simple. Honestly, I think the Krogan Warlord just has too many things that can go wrong with it. I mean, it, it's, it's totally weird because, because, um, he... How should I put this? The, what the? What is this thing doing? Uh, he, for one, he can't take cover. Uh, and I know, I think if you are quote unquote advanced, you don't really use cover too much. But in, in some cases, it does come in handy. You know, like uh, the the big big attacks that are um, undodgeable. Well, I mean, they are dodgeable, but in the case of a Krogan, they are not dodgeable. That was a good place to. <laughs> That was a good place to charge in. Marana Death Squad claims another victim. No! My rage. Uh, cover does come in handy, especially against things like, you know, Banshee Warps, Atlas Missiles. Um, what else? Atlas Missiles, uh, Praetorian Lasers especially. And that big clunkiness and inability to take cover does sort of hurt it in some situations. It's not every situation you can just tank through it and heal through it. It's not, uh, would not be wise. So, there's that. And plus, the uh, the default Krogan is a little more mobile, I feel. I don't actually know that for sure, but I maybe it's just a, a looks thing. Maybe it's all in my head. But I, I do feel the uh, default Krogan is a little more tanky. Or not, not tanky, not tanky. He's definitely not as tanky. <laughs> um... Just a little more mobile, get from place to place. Maybe it's just the the smaller, um, the smaller look, sort of tricking tricking me out. So maybe, but anyway, anyway, moving on. Uh, Krogan Warlord, he does have to worry about his weight, which is sort of annoying. Melee all of it. No, no, of course. And then they ruin it with uh, it's kind of cool looking. He does, the Krogan Warlord does have to worry about cooldowns in order to get the most out of his melee, which is sort of annoying because you don't want Biotic Hammer to, to have like you know a 15 second cooldown, which sort of sucks. So it kind of limits his um his weapon options. That's something I care to deal with. Uh, I mean, I guess you do okay with all the uh, the weight reduction talents and the use of um. Well, maybe not a super heavy weapon, but I, I, I didn't want to use the Rieger again. The Rieger definitely uh, gets the most use. It definitely synergizes very well, and then again, what doesn't the Rieger synergize with? But he does have to worry about weight. It's something you have to keep in mind. Krogan Sentinel, regular Krogan Sentinel. You just, um, you just slap on whatever you want, heaviest weapons possible, all the mods that you want. You've got something for Phantoms. Case of a uh, scary, super scary phantom swarm. What is this stupid banshee doing? Damn it! I'm sick of these people. Why am I stuck? Okay. Lost my train of thought there. Peep proc in the demon barrier absorption technique. Ruining my melee because for some reason melee is like a power or something. Oh no. So, program default sentinel doesn't have to worry about powers. Wait, it's always, always a good thing. And plus, uh, for whatever reason, the default... Or like the way you get rage on the rope warlord is really weird. Because like sometimes you'll get it after like one hit of the hammer, and sometimes you'll have to kill like three things in a three, four things in a row. It's just completely bizarre. 
I mean, I'm not even sure the Warlord knows what a melee kill is because of Bionic Hammer, it's like a power. I mean, it benefits from power damage, so if it dies to the power damage, it won't get the it won't get the martial artist or the rage. But if it dies to the melee portion, it will. It, it's just totally, totally fucked up. I don't get it's really annoying because the Krog the Krogan Warlord definitely needs definitely needs that health regen to get going, otherwise it is not very tanky. And if you don't have that regen going, chances are Really? Electric Slash stole that? Just a lot of his tankiness comes from that health region. If you don't have that health region, the fact that he's so big, bulky, and slow and can't take cover will really bite you in the rear. It's just a pain in the ass to deal with. Not very fun. Whereas the Kro Kro regular Krogan Sentinel, I mean, he doesn't give a fuck. Anything he dies to melee is going to work. And to top things off, his Krogan... Uh, Krogan battle charge actually hits every single time. Unless you're on like a stairway or something, but I mean, that's just buggy game. But with the uh, with the warlord, uh, sometimes it's sometimes his melee attacks just don't flat flat out don't work. I don't know why that is. And it's also annoying. You try to you try to charge a husk or something to get that rage going, and it doesn't. It ends up not working, and then you have to waste even more time trying to get a melee attack that works. Get that rage going. It's it's just a pain in the ass. I mean, he's still a good class. It's just he has so many things with him that can go wrong. Is there a brute behind me? There is a brute behind me. Hold on, friend. Wish this is on a better map for better melee. Some reapers. This is sort of not the best way to showcase this class using my Crusader a little too much. That's okay, I'll just charge everything. How about that? Find the cannibals and kill them all. So all in all, I picked the Krog regular Krogan Sentinel over the Warlord because he's si he's simpler to use. He doesn't have as many uh, restrictions. Wanna put Dark Channel on that bad girl? Hmm? Oh wait, you're not the uh... That's it. I'm going in for the melee. Fury is going down a lot. Look at that. No shit given. That is what it is all about when it comes to being a Kroger. Plus, as a regular Senate, you've got lift grenades, so against um I, I, I guess on smaller maps where they can you can catch the spawns easier when they are uh, bunched up like Cerberus or Geth lift grenades. Some of the best at wiping out, wiping out spawns. Plus, they're very easy to use. Very, very big radius. Very powerful. Plus, grenade capacity. You get a lot. So hopefully, you have a uh, better tosses than that. Aha. Okay. Oh, he got revived. All right. I thought he. Uh, Just spam lift grenades. Plus lift grenades go through walls. Be sure to abuse the hell out of that. Need something that is more. Mm. I guess I should have set the map. I set the map to Jade. I was gonna set it to Cerberus, but the lobby wasn't filling up, so I did, I did unknown unknown and it filled up really quick. As for weapon choices, it doesn't really matter what you go with as long as it's a shotgun with the uh with the Omni Blade attachment. If you do that, you're in good condition. You can use anything. Rieger, Claymore, Rieger, Claymore, Crusader, Drawl, Geth Plasma Shotgun. It does not matter. It's all good. Just keep in mind, you don't have you don't give a shit about weight, so you can you can use whatever floats your boat. Venom, AT12, Raider. Uh, I prefer Crusader because it doesn't need a smart choke. Get more damage out of that. Plus, the, uh, the long range sniping ability of the Crusader does come in handy against bosses, which is what you're really going to need your shotgun for is something to deal with bosses. Uh, that's something the Warlord does have over the over the default Sentinel because he's very, very, very good at killing the bosses, especially if you use uh, Rieger. Rieger with incendiary ammo. I mean, one clip of a Rieger and one biotic hammer will pretty much outright kill any boss in the game. On gold, at least, uh, unless it's unless it's a uh, 
what is that thing called? Uh, Possessed Praetorian. But, you know, those, you don't really have to worry about those too many. Even even when fighting collectors, not that big of a deal. But Crusader works. Oh, someone's gonna get, someone's gonna get grabbed. Better be careful. Damn it, stop procking that barrier. Is that destroyer running? Destroyer must be running. What do you call it? That thing. Hawk is the launcher. Maybe that idiot Fury is using throw. <laughs> the Fury has like almost 60,000 challenge points if he doesn't know. Or maybe. Hey, I should make sure before I call him out. It would be fair. Come on, you stupid husk. No! Oh, with the Crusader, when it comes to long range, not exactly easy to use, but luckily, most of the things you would want to shoot with it are pretty easy. Pretty easy to hit. So, don't need don't need headshots against like Banshees and bosses and stuff and the Ravagers. It hits pretty hard. Damn it! Don't like sharing my melee kills with Furies. That's it, I gotta send something flying. Never mind, I just <laughs> flattened him like a pancake with my head. But all in all, Krogan, regular Krogan Sentinel, gets my pick. Simplicity is a beautiful thing. Krogan Warlord just has a lot of weird mechanics. You can't always get rage when you're supposed to. The kills don't, it's, it's so, so weird. Oh, damn annoying. Plus, you can take cover. Not that I've, I don't th even think I've done it once this game, but it does, it, do it really does come in handy. Don't sleep on the ability to take cover. Very nice thing to have. Who wants to fucking duel? Who wants to duel the champ? Hmm? Someone's getting ravaged. It. Damn it! Where is this thing going? Oh, be careful, friend. Okay, I guess it's the Fury who keeps up. Uh... Oh God! Run! Uh, you <laughs> might want to turn around, friend. Oh, you are lucky I can do a lot of damage. Oh, why is my screen shaking from a mile away? My kill! I need to find something that isn't Banshees to kill. I'm gonna go run around. Plus, even without the health regen, Cyclonic Modulator, uh, Cyclonic Modulator, Krogan Sentinel, very tanky. Even more so if you can get Rage. I'm not doing a very good job of getting it. This is a map. What can you do? What can you do? Plus, I'm actually trying out something new where I don't have the uh, two kills for Rage talent. It went, uh, went slightly different, so probably works out better when you're not playing against something that's so anti-melee like, yeah, like the Reapers are. He's too fast. Maybe not. Why is everything chasing me? Time to go. Yeah, don't throw the warps at the thing that's standing right in front of you. I swear I had nothing to kill but fucking banshees that round. That is so damn annoying. Ah, uh, well, still doing pretty good, I guess. Though, as with all melee characters, uh, not all situations are good for the melee. Oh god. Unless I keep grenading everything I can melee, I guess. <laughs> That's, uh, always the. Ooh, 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 marauders, they spawn on the other side, chase them down. Yes, go. Why am I stuck on corners? You, me, brute. One v one, flagpole. Be there. Never mind. He's not. He's not going to get a chance to be there. Just the ravagers are always a pain in the ass because sometimes they like to just fucking blow up their sacks all over your face and uh, instantly deplete your shields. 
sometimes they do it from range. It is a completely bizarre mechanic that they have going on there. Mosh maintains a rage. Stay angry. Rage gives me power. Oh god, I'm getting named that. Right, no, I'm not. That's it. We need to throw more grenades. That is obviously what we're doing wrong here. These guys are getting shit on. Oh god, banshees! Someone has to kill the ravages. Must lift grenades. Fantastic for dealing with swarmers. Some of the, <laughs> some of the best. Oh no! Went through this way really slow. <laughs> Fuck it, I don't feel like dealing with it. Instant problem solver. Let's see. The best. Don't switch to Scorpion, you idiot. Scorpion sucks against the Reapers. Now oh, look at that. Three easy objectives. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, <laughs> even easier. Holy crap. That might quite possibly go down in history as the easiest objective objectives ever, or just that one rather. Yeah, I'm not I'm not charging into two brutes. Just asking for trouble. You ain't going nowhere, son! Oh, powerhouse got gipped again. What what ravager? I'm going in! Yeah! Oh god. Rav Ravager sniped me from the damn stairwell. Ah ha! He got sniped, sucker. Very good, very good, very good. Krogan Sentinel, very solid class. Uh, as far as incinerate goes, I have never ever been in a situation where I felt like I needed it. Plus, lift grenades, they do not detonate for you. So, really just another notch against incinerate. Reasons to get incinerate there. So. No! Damn it! Dark Channel, why? Did you have fun with that? Mm, never mind. There's a lot of brutes everywhere. Oh, he's so big and I still can't hit him. There we go. Okay, where's that Marauder? The Marauder's mine. I wonder if over the cover grabs give rage. Cause that would be three right there. Aw, lame. <gasps> lame! It's still a melee kill game. See, look at that. Cover. Comes in handy. Sometimes. I'm gonna go for brutes, they're easier to hit. And she said weird hitboxes. Oh god, don't get stuck on ammo boxes, that's bad. And she's running around in circles. <laughs> Banshees really do love me. Oh god, why is there why the banshee? No, go away. Could have made it 10 seconds without a missile launcher, friend. Why you get so scared? Sniped kills. Damn it! Oh well, still pretty good. Obviously needed more headbutts, but come on, Reapers on London. <sighs> Plus Banshees chasing me all over the place. Annoying. Oh well, joys of unknown unknown. Still got 50 melee kills. Whole lot of biotic kills thanks to lift grenades. Not a bad class at all. Plus you've got tech armor. 
Anything that has tech armor is already pretty good. Some pretty standard stuff here. Skip incinerate, damage, grenades, damage and radius, damage, power damage, weapon damage, melee damage, martial artist, fitness expert. So pretty good stuff. So Krogan Sentinel, top pick. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, peace soup.